What's going on guys? Mr. TechBot here. Man, do I have some Funko Pops for you. I've got some haul items. I've got some Funko Shop items. I even got an item that a friend of mine from California had sent me that he got somewhere. I'm not quite sure. But let's check it out right now. What's going on everybody? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and everyone out there is staying safe. Now as I said, I have some Funko items from again. If you've watched any of my live uh, shows recently with Wayne, and, and I think I may have even said it in the uh, TechBot After Dark last Saturday, but you know, I've been lucky lately that I've been able to get some good friends as well as some family members to pick some stuff up because I've just been absolutely busy and just, I have not been able to make it to stores lately as I should, I'd, I'd love to, I just, there's life, life just happens to get in the way sometimes, unfortunately. My sister is awesome. Um, she goes around to a lot of these cause she's also a Funko Pop collector. And anytime she finds something that she thinks I might like, she sends me pictures say, hey, you want this? And she picks it up for me. Um, and so that's what we have for our hauls. Um, I have an item from the Funko shop that I think I remember what it is. Um, you guys will probably know my obsession. If it is what, it, what I think it is, you guys will know my obsession with this. Before we do that, if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you to the channel. Hope you enjoy yourself. And if you do, I always appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And if you are returning, thank you very much for your time and hope you enjoy the video. Of course, let's start with what's open first. I mean, why not? So we got two items and of course she was out at the some you know a couple months ago. I've had these for a little bit by now and she had them for a little bit before then and I had them for a little bit. Um, so maybe about a month ago they had the uh, Disneyland stuff and she was out there she decided to pick some of the stuff up and you know just kind of see what they had left. She didn't go out there first thing in the morning. Um, I think she went to some different targets or whatnot. Um, but she ended up finding, which I was really surprised on, was finding the Mad Hatter teacup. From what I understand, this one was kind of hard to get. Uh, Cause I know, that I think there's like three other ones. It doesn't say on the back here. It's like three other ones, like one with the Cheshire Cat, which I know is really hard to get. And I don't remember what the third one is right now. Um, but fantastic set. If I remember, I'll put a, I'll put a picture right up here of the, of the three teacups that are available or coming soon. I'm not sure either way. Um, but this one's fun. Uh, I really like this. I mean, the Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter is a classic, classic uh, character. And, you know, it's funny, being out here in Florida, we have Disney World and stuff like that. You know, I remember when these anniversary ones came out, everyone out here I started asking me, hey, Chris, Chris, you, you getting the, the Disney, the, um, I tell men, those are Disneyland. The only place right now since Disneyland is actually closed, you're going to find these is at Downtown Disney in Anaheim, California, otherwise from maybe from Funko themselves. That's why I think Funko is selling a lot of them or going through Target, um, other than, of course, the Target exclusive, which this one was a Target exclusive. So I don't even know if you would have found, since this was a Target exclusive, I don't even think you would have found this at Disneyland, per se. Um, maybe the Cheshire Cat one's there. I don't know. Um, that'd definitely be pretty cool. But, you know, nonetheless, it, it, it's, it's cool. And, and I think these were well sought after, but I, you know, one thing I liked about it, when, especially like when the Mickey one I had before that, I gave that one away in one of my Patreon giveaways. Again, get yourself into that Patreon giveaway. Uh, link is in the description down below. That way uh, you can get your chance to win a, a pop every month for pretty cheap. Why not? But I know, shameless plug. Hey, gotta get them in sometimes. But let's go ahead and open this thing up because I just think he looks fantastic. I'm gonna do the whole light box today. I'm just gonna open these up and show these to you guys. All right, so check this guy out. Now, it's, it's Disney, so you know it's not like Marvel, I, although I know Marvel is Disney. Um, Marvel and of course Star Wars both have to be, uh, Star Wars is even Disney, who knows. But Star Wars and Marvel both have to be bobbles. This is not a bobblehead, um, so he's holding it. So definitely it's a teacup. This is iconic to the ride. 
um, the Mad Hatter teacups. We have a version out here in Florida too, but I think the surrounding, the outside ambiance of the one in Disneyland is so much better. Um, but that's definitely fun. I mean, the, the Mad Hatter is a great, great character, classic character. He's spilling the tea over here, spilling the tea over there, uh, spinning himself all the way around, spinning himself all the way around. But man, he's got some great detail. I love that pop. You know, I got him back in his box, but on top of what's really cool about this is these boxes. These boxes are fantastic. They're kind of set more old school. They're not that stark white that you usually see with most uh, pop boxes. You got this off-white, you got, you know, Tinkerbell on the side, you got fireworks, the backing behind him is uh, a fireworks card. I mean, definitely fantastic what they did with these boxes. I mean, that, that I think just sets them off even more. But that's the first one. Um, I'll go ahead and check the, the pricing on these at the end, just for you guys, for, for knowledge wise. Um, and to me, it doesn't matter because everything in here is staying in my own personal collection anyways. But you know, just in case, maybe it's something you guys are looking for. Maybe it's something you want to add to your collection. You know, you want to know what the average price range these are going for. Um, I will still put the, uh, what Funko is setting them at right now. So next one, I love this one. As you know, I think I got one other one. Um, I have a bullseye and he is flocked. And in fact, if you guys remember that video, I said that was a Funko fail because I was so annoyed. I got that um, as part of one of their virtual events. I got it, I was so excited to get it. It was my first Alien remix. And there was a huge, huge spot on the front. Well, I am pleased to tell you, they sent me a whole new box. No more spot on the front anymore absolutely love it thought it was great um and again i wasn't asking for a whole new pop the pop was in good condition i just want a whole new box so funko funko did me right by that one i'm not i'm not i'm happy with that if you want to just send me a brand new box i'm good with that make make my whole set complete get rid of that nasty one but going into it again i've really really enjoyed these alien remix and you're probably going to start seeing a lot more of these come along you know it's funny is is I got into this thing and I didn't know what, if I was going to become a collector of these things, was I just going to grab a few items I like here, there, or other. As any of you guys know, that collect Funko Pops, once you start getting into these things, it's contagious. And when I when we talk all the time in our live stream about going down that rabbit hole, man, if you get, you start doing Funko Pops, you collect that first one and you kind of go from there. You've, you've sunk yourself into that rabbit hole. And that's what this has become. You know, instead of getting mystery boxes, although I still I still do mystery boxes, I love doing mystery boxes. You know, I've, I've been finding myself more and more wanting to go after boxes or pops that I want for my own collection. Um, it's no longer, hey, I'll just grab a few items from mystery boxes that I like, keep them, put the rest of them up on eBay. No, now I'm going after the ones I actually like, and that's what Doug was for. And they're absolutely fantastic pops. Check this out. So this is the Target only, the flocked version of Doug, which is great. And now I don't have the original Doug. I know my buddy Fox Crown has him. Uh, I know he's worth a lot of money. And um, fortunately, I, you know, he probably won't be part of my collection anytime soon. But uh, I got I got the alien Doug, so I'm happy with that. Uh, flocked one, and nonetheless, I, you know, I would like to see the bullseye one be flocked too. I think that would have been cool having both. But great pop. So let's go ahead and take him on out, and uh, let's take a look at the details on this guy. I think he's fantastic. Let's check this guy out. Again, no bobble on him. I know a lot of you guys are, you know, I hear 50-50. Some people like the bobbles, some people don't like the bobbles. You know, all the all the Marvel guys back here are all bobbles. I don't know. I, I can go either way. I'm not really, you know, per se. I get a lot of bobbles because I do a lot of Marvel. And unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. But, uh, man, that thing looks awesome. Check him out a little bit up close. Um, the flocking on it is, is great. Now, this is an item that should be flocked. The fact that it's a dog... Um, it makes sense. Uh, whereas when they did the San Diego Comic Con, when they did a flock Mewtwo, sorry, that didn't really make a whole lot of sense. He's a reptile. It should be flocked. Made no sense at all. I mean, if, if, if you guys understand why they did that, comment down below because I didn't understand that one at all. Sometimes they flock things that just make absolutely no sense. But I mean, this was great. Again, you got the little alien topper coming out of the, the top of his head. He's got the collar on, the speed collar. Of course, he's a dog, so his tongue's sticking out with the nose. And of course, he's an alien, so he's got the three eyes. 
Um, I like what is nice about this flocked one is it's not just smooth. It's it's grooved. I don't know if you guys can see on there. It's uh, it's grooved. It's not flat. You know, it's textured. So it's not just flocked, but it's got that nice texture because you know dogs dogs fur isn't isn't perfectly flat, and you know it's got some texture to it. So you know why not do it to this one too? So I, I think I think they did a fantastic job with this, and I think they're doing a fantastic job with this alien line. So man, I've got too many ones I'm trying to go after. I mean these alien lines. You know, I got my Marvel Zombies I'm going after. Uh, they're bringing out more Black Light Pops. My, yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> I'm running out, and they keep bringing out more stuff than I want. Again, I, I, I became a casual collector to a big time collector. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how many Pops I have in my own personal collection. Uh, not nearly as much as a lot of people have, but uh, you know, hey, it, it is what it is. Let's get into these. Um, Open up my buddies first. Now, this is a friend of mine. I gotta put my knife. This is a friend of mine from California. You know, he he wasn't really much of a pop collector. Um, he's watched my show a couple times. Tells me all the time he's got one. I think one pop, and it's that Mandalorian one. That one that's caught that that I think it's San Diego Comic Con or something like that. It's really highly valued, and. Um, but I think he's got the shared sticker on it, so it's not as valued as I think it could be if, if it had a actual Comic-Con sticker on it. But I guess he was out at somewhere recently. It was a particular store. It was a event. I'm not quite sure. But he had messaged me and said, hey, I'm sending you a pop. I said, okay, how much you want for it? He, I could not get this guy to tell me you know, to, to let me pay him for this. So unfortunately, like you said, I still got some great friends out there. So Jimmy, thank you very, very much. I do appreciate this pop. And again, I do know what it is in here and I absolutely am gonna love it. Uh, this is gonna be a great item for my collection. Um, and in fact, he, what's funny is he's actually starting to get more and more into Funkos now. See, there's been a couple of them. He sent me pictures of say, hey, what do you think worthwhile, blah, blah, blah. Now tell me if I think it's worthwhile to get. I mean, but here's the bottom line with your collection. Whether it's high value or whether it's not. I mean, I've got some, you know, that, that are a little bit more worth some and I've got some that's a little bit less. But it doesn't matter. It's whatever you like. Good, bad, expensive, not expensive. Whatever you like, whatever you're into, you know, that's what you collect. So, you know, I guess if you're in it to sell it, of course you want the expensive items, but you know, if you're in it just to collect it because you like them, you know, eventually, you know, you want to build up a nice collection and uh, you know, price for that collection, but you know, I'll just, I'll just continue to keep collecting for right now. And uh, collecting because I enjoy it, collecting because I want them, collecting because, collecting because they're awesome. But, all right, over there I don't have to cut anymore. So let's see. Yeah. Now I saw him, I didn't have this one. I love collecting this guy. I, you know, I, I've talked about this type of pop many times, I'm trying to collect any of them that I possibly can get my hands on. And the fact that he sent this to me and thought of me, I thought was awesome. Check this bad boy out. We've got Stanley. Iron Man, I think this is original Iron Man, Iron, original Iron Man version of Stan Lee. Now this is the Stan Lee that I was looking for during the San Diego Comic Con. I couldn't get it, Target sold out of them really, really fast. Every Target I went to was gone and I was really, really trying to score this Funko Pop. This is fantastic. So this is the Stan Lee from the Summer 2020 uh, Summer Convention Series. This it does, of course, have the shared sticker. Does not. There are some that are out there that have the San Diego Comic Con sticker, which, of course, are worth more than this. And I'll explain that a little bit more when we get to the pricing of this guy, um, as far as what that means. But uh, I just thought this was a fantastic pop. Even when I saw it again, I, I try to get anything Stanley. You know, I've got I've got maybe I think two or three Stanleys up here somewhere. Um, I mean, Stanley. Can't go wrong with Stanley. Stanley is a legend. You know, he was a class act. He was a great guy, from what I understand. Uh, my biggest regret is I used to live in Vegas for five years. Just remember hearing him coming into town, signing autographs at conventions. Whether it was paying, you get to pay for the autograph. I don't care. To get a legend like that to sign something for you, 
I regret not going. I mean, I, I truly do. And I, I, one of these days I will get an authentic signed Stan Lee item, whether it's a comic book or pop, one of the items. Um, I absolutely would love to have one. Um, now with this one, let's go ahead and take a closer look at him. Now, good, my buddy sent this to me in a protector, but I do notice that down the side, down the back side, there is, I don't know if you can kind of see it, there is a crease in the back side. There, it takes the value down a tiny bit. Not too bad. I mean, it's not a perfect box edition, but the rest of the box looks pretty good. A little bit of bending here, but I mean, that's, you really have to look for that one. That's gonna be for those diehard um, collectors. But again, this is, this is going right back up on my shelf. So I'm not worried about it by any means. So let's take a closer look at this guy. Would have been nice to get it with the San Diego Comic-Con sticker, but hey, I'll take it any way I can get it. So of course, this being a Marvel one, this is a bobble. So what I like about, I always like about Stanley, especially ones like these, you know, he's got his glasses on and you can still see his eyes through the glasses. Um, you know, classic, looks great. Um, sorry, trying not to make his head bobble too much, but um, tuck, you know, the, 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 what are those called? Smoking jackets or whatever. I mean, that just looks awesome, fantastic. I mean, all the way around, just a class act. Great looking pop. Um, you know, of course, these were all based off of his cameos that he did uh, within the, the first 10 years of Marvel. And I know they're still slowly trying to bring some of these out. Yeah, I think I've got the Ragnarok one and the Guardians one with him in the space suit. So this is just another great one to add to my collection. Super, super happy to see him finally come home. One that I've been looking for. That's why I always tell you guys, if you don't get these things at the, you know, the virtual cons or I mean, don't fret. I mean, half the fun with well, Pops is, you know, finding them later on. I mean, I got lucky and had a friend give this to me, um, but you know, finding them later on and, you know, getting them, you know, whether you find it cheap, whether you find it, you know, in that hidden grail somewhere later on in the garage sale that they don't even know the value of their items. I mean, that's what makes the find even better. You know, there's a lot of Funko Pops out there. You're not gonna get every single one of them. Maybe you are, I don't know. But the hunt, the hunt for Funko Pops is just as rewarding as the Funko Pops itself sometimes. So again, Jimmy, thank you very much for this. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and uh, he, he's gonna go right up here, probably front and center, probably right above Captain up here. Um, so I absolutely, now this one, this is a Funko shop. And um, lately, anytime I've been going on a Funko shop, I, you know, of course wanna look at what they are bringing out, you know, what's new, what's coming out, stuff like that. And I always got a tendency to run a search and there's one particular search I always run first because I gotta see, you know, what they've released and what they have. Because a lot of times, as, as we know, just be, if it comes out on Funko, you can find it on the Funko site and it sells out one minute, more than likely they're gonna come out with more. So that's the great part. So it, it, especially if it's Funko shop items, you know, I'm hoping that with the Carnage, uh, since that was, since I missed out on the Carnage Black Light, I'm hoping now with that, and since it was a Funko shop item, I'm hoping maybe it'll come back in stock at some point. So this is again one that I search for all the time because I'm trying to collect as many of them as I can possibly get my hands on. And of course, it is who else? It is Marty McFly, man. This is the Marty in the future outfit. Now it's not the one that recently came out with him with the jacket and, and the sleeves going over his jacket, which Again, now I got another Marty I gotta find, but uh, this is pretty much him with the sleeves up, the hat on, um, him ready to go take on Biff um, and knock his son out cold so that way he doesn't screw up all the plan. But uh, absolutely fantastic, love this pop, love anything Marty McFly, you know, Back to the Future really brings me back to a good time. Let's take a look at him a little bit closer. Yeah, not a bobble. But what's great about this is you got the cool silver hat. One of these days, I'm gonna, I know you can find replicas of these online. I'm gonna get me one of these replica hats. And eventually when, you know, I become that rich, you know, rich, expensive YouTuber, I'm gonna get me a replica time machine. Yeah, it's a pipe dream. I get it, I know. But a man, a man can hope, right? But uh, a definitely great pop. Um, got the hat on, got the jacket on, got the Nikes on. 
Um, got the, the pockets out of his pants like they do in the future, which, I mean, that was 2015, which, I mean, really didn't seem to come true because we already passed 2015, five years ago. You know, just check him out backside. Awesome, awesome. Look at Pop, love that, love the hat. Um, I will get me one of these hats one of these days, um, but he he is great. So again, you know, like I said, you know I me, mean? I've got I got my weird obsessions, uh, especially when it comes to the '80s type stuff, uh, '80s pop culture, and, and you know I think I think the Ready Player One that that I collect just kind of fuels that. Let me get these prices for you. I've already showed you the pop, so I don't need to put them in the light box. So I will be right back. Now I got all these prices for you. Scan them all in. Found out what their, their current PPG is. First up, we have Mad Hatter at the Mad Tea Party Attraction. PPG training value of $35. Alice in Wonderland came out in 2020. Come, it still shows coming soon, but it's already come out. Pop Rides, Alice in Wonderland exclusive target. I mean, that's pretty much on track and maybe a little bit more um, than when I paid for it. So, I mean, not, not too bad. Can't complain there. So next up, we have Doug Flock Pixar Alien Remix has a PPG training value of nine dollars. Came out in 2020. Is still available. Pop vinyl Pixar Alien Remix exclusive to Target. Now again, I paid more for that, but I paid again. It's something for my collection, so it really doesn't bother me either way. Um, now we have the Stan Lee. Stan Lee Iron Man has a PPG training value of eighty dollars. Came out in 2020, is still available. Pop vinyl, Iron Man, San Diego Comic Con. Now, here's a trick with this that you gotta remember. The sticker inside this image shows the San Diego Comic Con sticker. So that's what that $80 is based upon, is having the actual sticker. Now, if you go to, I think, Pop Price Guide, um, if you have the shared sticker, you're, you're roughly probably dropping a good 40 to 50% off of that price to say what the value of the shared sticker is because the shared sticker is a lot more common than the San Diego Comic-Con sticker, so it's a little bit more rare. Um, now this is a shared sticker, so even though this is 80, this is probably more or less somewhere in there between the 45 to $40 range, somewhere in there. Um, but I'm again, I'm still happy with them. It's one that I was looking for in the first place, so even better. So again, say once again third time i know third time thanks jimmy thank you but i do do appreciate it now last one we got marty in future outfit from back to the future as a ppg training value of nine dollars came out in 2020 is still available pop vinyl from back to the future um again this is that set that most like most recently came out of course they brought out some recent ones with the uh, i think the doc um shirt box and then of course the marty mcfly or the future marty fly with the jacket with the the um sleeves going over his hands other than that that's all i got for you guys today again if you are new to the channel i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please smash that like button leave me a comment as well as hit that subscribe button after you hit that subscribe button please go ahead and hit that post notification bell so that way you get notified of all the most recent videos i do as well as any live streams i do start because i typically try to put out two videos a week uh, and i do now i'm starting to do two live streams a week so stay tuned with those get your notifications and if you have seen my videos before thank you as always for taking the time out, watching my video, and following me on my YouTube journey. I appreciate every moment you give me. So, as I always say at the end of every video, because I love to and because I deem it to be utterly true in every word I say, do what you like, do what you love, and always unleash your inner nerd, guys. Take it easy. Later!